Game of Thrones was another great example, which right. again, that was not binge, which is another interesting thing. So there isn't one right way. Game of Thrones is interesting, and it, it's something I'm kind of obsessed about, because it does two things. As everyone says, we don't want, uh, you know, we want binge. We don't, we, want, we don't want to be told when to watch it. But I'll tell you one thing, and I, I made this point actually yesterday. And I use my kids a lot, because they're, you know, early 20s to late 20s. They look forward to Sundays. That's all kind of part of their, they know what show they want to watch, mm -hmm. and it's special because it's on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they watch it when it's, but they watch it that, that night, whether it's at 6 o'clock with each East Coast feed or, or you know. So the idea that, that I still believe that if the content's strong enough, we can, they want to share something. It isn't just being in your room and, and kind of binging. It's also that social conversation and experience. But again, it's all driven by great content. So you look at Game of Thrones, which I didn't read the books, but um, it's, <laughs> which is unfortunate because I don't know if anybody saw like the upload of people's reaction to the Red Wedding. I mean, it's fantastic. <laughs> but what I loved about Game of Thrones, if I had read the books, is that they broke every TV rule, every rule. You know, it's they killed. It, they they killed, killed Ned. Everybody. Like that was like, what do you Spoiler. mean? I thought there's a, it's like Lassie. I was always afraid Lassie would be killed. They go, Lassie is Lassie. There, you have no series without it. Here, and it, it was one of these childhood fears I had. But when when I when I look at Game of Thrones, and then I look at the Red Wedding, which I don't know if I, 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 everybody dies. Okay. Every, yeah. Okay, two My guys. son happened to be here from college and literally was watching it. And, and I didn't. I was in the kitchen. He comes out and he's white as a sheep, white as a sheep. And I go, "What's wrong?" And he goes, "Have you seen Game of Thrones?" <laughs> I said, "No." And she goes, "You have to see." I mean, literally, he was so upset because it broke every rule. Every rule we've been conditioned to see. This is the cadence of how a television episode is supposed to work, and then it has a cliffhanger and where. This was just, everyone you cared about died. What happens now? And what was great about it, which I love why television and great content is so compelling, is that they then had a follow-up, which I followed this, is the uploads of people's reaction, because the guys oh, yeah. who have read yeah. the books, and that to me was the, the greatest kind of testament to how wonderful television can be and how engrossed people are and committed. So when you talk, and it was a social experience. 